Monday. So, as you can see, we're in the airport. This one forgot her AirPods after she kept reminding me to charge mine. She took them out of her bag and then put them back in. So, she's looking for um, wired buds so she doesn't have to <laughs> sit in silence on the plane. But we just got through TSA. And we have, I think she said it was a 20 minute walk to our gate. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. But I will see y'all when we get to our gate. The reason why we chose to say goodbye But I can help my feelings Right now, I can't deny You never left my mind And now my heart is bleeding Why did I have to break it up? Guess I was just a young girl Living in a dream world I thought that I'd be better off But now I pay the price I don't know how to forget you I can't forget you You're always on my mind I do the things that I should do So I can't forget But you're always on my mind Thought you'd be gone by tomorrow But you're still there tomorrow And the next day, the next day I wish I would your secrets I dream and fantasize that I come by your house telling you about my regrets why did I have to break it up guess I was way too shallow my mind was way too narrow I thought that I'd be better off but now I pay the price I do I don't know how here we made it y'all just saw the little room tour um i'm tired we got up at two and left around 2 45 and then our first flight boarded at like 5 30 and boarded at five. Oh yeah it boarded at five. at five we left at 5 30 um we it was like a two and a half hour flight or something like that we went to dallas and we literally had enough time to go to the bathroom and get to the next gate that's how long the layover was. And then from Dallas, we got here. And it was another, like, two, two and a half hour flight. We did have to sit on the, or at the gate on the plane because they were having some sort of mechanical issue. Ooh. What? Oh, wait. Um, this is my Panera's menu. Oh, I think they have the pumpkin muffin again. Oh. Um, yeah, so we had to sit at the gate for, like, 20 minutes or something like that. And we took off. Turbulence wasn't too bad. There was a couple bumpy spots, but it wasn't like crazy. 
and we're only 10 minutes behind schedule yeah so it was nice that's the only delay we had and it didn't really like delay it delay us over here we checked in Taylor started some of her pre-surgery prep. Oh, if you're just watching this video for the first time and you don't know who I am, um, I'm Megan, we're in Miami because my sister is getting a tummy tuck. Her and her best friend are both getting a tummy tuck at the same time, on the she's same not, day. She's not here yet, but we have her sister with us. <laughs> yeah, her sister is with us. Her sister lives in Utah with us, but she lives in Las Vegas, so she flies in tomorrow. Uh, yeah, but yeah. Um, we just went to McDonald's. We're staying at this Hilton. What is it? Hilton? IHG? Holiday Inn? Holiday Inn. Yeah, and there's a McDonald's literally in the parking lot. So we walked over to McDonald's to get a little snack because we haven't eaten today. All I had was a protein shake, literally. I didn't even eat any of the flight snacks. You want to see what we got? I still have mushrooms. Sure. So we flew southwest here, but we're flying home on Delta. And they gave us this pack of snack mix. I don't know what's in it, though. It's bomb. Oh. It is. I'd be saving them. I guess it's good. I'm excited to try it. <laughs> I just barely finished the ones I got I had from Orlando because I've stocked up on <laughs> What's in it? Is it like pretzels? Pretzels and cheeses and how much of them are shit? Hmm. I got two of these. They're Remy's Grams cinnamon graham crackers. I've never tried those. I haven't tried them yet. <clears throat> so yeah, we're gonna go um, in a little while. We're gonna go to Dollar Tree because I need to get some plastic cups and some straws for my protein shakes that I drink every single day. Cause I def I bought I brought me eight protein shakes because I'm not paying those prices. Getting protein shakes at Walmart not a good idea. I get mine from Sam's because it's the best deal, and I'm not going to Sam's, so I just brought them from home. <laughs> Me and Taylor. I had a spot in my luggage, so yeah. And I can finally go back to drinking protein shakes 24 hours after surgery. Yeah, she had to be off protein shakes, was it a month? Yeah. For a month, because there's something in them that's not good for the surgery that she's getting. So, she's excited to be back on protein shakes, so she brought some too. But, um, yeah, and then we're going to go get food. And then I'll go buy a gas station because I did bring my cup. If you know, you know. I'm always sipping on one of my Simple Modern cups. This is not the one I usually have. This is the very first one I have. It's my purple one. So I'm just gonna fill this up with ice and then fill it with water and just drink out of this for the week. But that is it. Just wanted to update y'all. We're here, we made it, we're safe. And yeah, you know, keep watching if you wanna see this journey of our Miami trip. trip. Not trick. <laughs> Our Miami, Miami trip. I'm tired. And my sister's tummy tuck and everything we do. It's probably not going to be very eventful. Because, I mean, they're not going to be able to move around a lot. But I'll show you everything that we we do. Alright, y'all. So I guess I'll see y'all when we uh, leave. Oh, I'm 30 gallon. Oh, wow. I just need a drawstring. I hate the tie up ones. Oh, yeah. Oh, here's seven. I want to get 13. Thank you. There's only 10 in here. I'll get these. Ooh, fancy. Well, I just need a little amount. Do you see straws? Uh, whatever, whatever, whatever. Give me a little bag. <laughs> These are so good. I'm mm -hmm. obsessed. That's how you started. Yeah, you just are like right. yeah. yeah, we're just right. 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 randomly arriving. Right. Inside out. It's gum with a crushed lollipop inside. <laughs> That's weird. Interesting. These are literally the best creations ever. I've never seen them. They're so freaking good. I'm obsessed.
what is wrong with me? Do I care to carefully? What is wrong with me? Hi. Hey, y'all. Happy Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, they just finished eating lunch at this place called Diced. It's like a salad bowl place, kind of like a Chipotle. Uh, now AJ and her sister are getting boba. Gross. <laughs> We're not boba fans. Look, you want some beer, yeah? Yeah, that's too much. I didn't eat because I'm not hungry and we're going to go to Fuddruckers later. So, but yeah, they had their pre-op appointments today. You want to tell them how it was? It went really well. Um, I'm having a tummy tuck and if you guys didn't know, belly buttons freak me out. Oh, you were having a mommy makeover. Yeah, I was having a mommy makeover, but now I'm just doing the tummy tuck. I'm going to come back later for boobs and maybe some other stuff, depending on, you know, how everything shakes out after like six months. Um, so I opted out of a new hole for the belly button and I mean, he kind of looked at me weird, but <laughs> I am super excited about it because I am not a fan of belly buttons. So, um, you know, I got my pictures taken, signed paperwork, got, um, my little compression boots and, you know, all the info for tomorrow. So I have surgery at 6.30. My friend AJ goes at 8.30. She's with a different surgeon, and that's the closest that they could get us. But luckily, we're only like 10 minutes away from where we're having surgery, so it's not too far of a drive. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be cool and interesting. I forgot to ask him um, to get, like, you know, my OR pictures of, like, my skin flaps <laughs> and to know, like, um, how much it weighs, like, how much skin they took off and stuff, so... I'm excited. I am not nervous at all. I gave them my little song that they're going to play for me as I fall asleep. So um, we also went and dropped off our prescriptions and they're ready. So we're going to pick those up too. But yeah, she's getting a tummy tuck too. I don't know if I said that, but yeah, we are excited. So, you know, I'm, we're very transparent on this channel. So my sister will show as much as YouTube will allow. <laughs> um, so yeah, should be good. So right now we're going to Burlington and Ross because if you've been around in this channel enough to know, um, if you've been around this channel enough to know, those are our stores, Burlington and Ross. Mm -hmm. And if we're able to go, we're definitely taking a picture. Yeah, oh, there's wings. Oh, um, AJ is a is a selfie person. <laughs> she wants everybody to take a picture of her somewhere. Yeah, so we're gonna go over there, but I'll take y'all with us as long as they're not blasting the music. If they're blasting the music, then I'll just do a haul later when we get back to the hotel. Oh well, yeah, tomorrow's gonna be an eventful day. I mean, when y'all see this, she will definitely be in the throes of recovery. But hopefully everything's going to, it's going to go good everything's going there's to go no good. hopefully yeah, it will it's all going to go good <clears throat> i'll take some uh pre-op pictures for you guys just you know of my stomach area so you guys can see the difference um i did have a massive weight loss so that's why i'm having a tummy tuck so i have a lot of loose skin so that's what we're going to address with the surgery and then the next one will hopefully be you know just a breast surgery but we'll see so yeah, I'll, I'll take you guys, give you guys some stomach pics. <laughs> and then, you know, we'll take some stomach pics. Well, maybe not after, until I'm more healed. I know some people that might be a trigger for some people, so. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll down the line show, you so know. So subscribe. Yeah. You can see her progress. Exactly, so you can <laughs> see the after. Yeah. So, um, well, I can at least take some pictures and a clean binder, so there yeah. won't be any, you know, blood or incisions or anything. So, yeah, follow us, follow along for the Miami journey. There you go. Bye. Bye. All right, we made it in Burlington, and so far, so good with the music playing. I'm probably going to go to men's because, you know, I like to look at the hoodies. And they fully stopped in the dove. I've never well, seen this one before. I wonder some that is uh, non-scented. What does this one smell like? 
lotus flower and rice water. Mm. Mm. It's all right. Yeah, it would be nice if I could find soap here. What about Cetaphil? Oh, yeah. It's supposed to, but this is cooling relief. Oh. Shea butter. Ashanti. And I ain't buying no pump. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, you're probably going to have to get a Walmart. I ain't get a Dove bar. I'm going to use it for... That's more than one. Yeah. And that's 450. What's that Sour Patch Kids? The sugar scrub? Oh, you know. You know who would love that? Tegan. Yeah. Because she has a sugar scrub on our list. Red Berry. I don't know if y'all can see me because I'm not pulling the thing up. I'm going to smell this. It doesn't smell like Sour Patch, but someone stuck their finger in it, so <laughs> I wouldn't get it anyway. Here's another one under Grapefruit and Lemon Balm. I like that color. It's so bright. Mm -hmm. Four bucks. Black garlic. They have a bigger, uh, black hair care section than you do. What is this? Shiny jam. Setting mousse. Detoxifying charcoal body. 216. Dang, too bad they're not like the big ones. Yeah. Two crocs. Look at cute. They're 511. I feel like I get a 10 in Crocs. I feel like 11 is too big. I don't know how much that. Well, it's a 9 in women. Oh, wait, no, there are 9 in women. So maybe that is the tag. 25 if it is. Y'all like these Fila sweats? They're only $11.99. I think we're going to add these to the whole pile. Oh, I hear music. I'll be back. So we're in Walmart and I always see uh, people get this nature's own butter bread. I've never seen it in real life because Utah doesn't have it. It's nice and thick and hefty. No wonder y'all get it. We also found these that Utah doesn't have. Little Bites crumb cakes. And <laughs> these brown we sugar cinnamon noodles. 15 minutes trying to see if we had them at home. Yeah, so. We're getting some snacks to bring home. We do not have brown sugar cinnamon bagels at home. <laughs> so we're getting them to go. We getting, we have bagel money. <laughs> Miami bagel money. Yeah. Does somebody know what is wrong with me? Do my thoughts go away too deep? What is wrong with me? Does somebody know? Oh, these grapes look good. Um, we're in Publix for the first time. Not for me. Buy three, get three free. Oh, she came to Publix last time we were here, but it was right after we got off the plane and I was too tired, so I decided not to come in. But apparently their pastries are delicious. <laughs> Extravaganza. It's a taste. It's a taste. Ooh, that fun thing. Yeah, because this is very lackluster.
I wish I wasn't allergic to carrot cake. I want that loaf. <laughs> Key lime flavored cookies. What is it, a cake? They're like guava bars. Mm, they're heavy. Four. That only like 20 pounds. <laughs> Ooh. So, apparently we're here too late. They definitely close in like 30 minutes. So we're gonna go to another Publix during the day to see what's hitting foe because I am underwhelmed. That's a cute bowl. Mm -hmm. This is like plastic. I only got Amaya a shirt for her Halloween, so you don't have to worry about going to find her something. Oh, yay me. I see how dry it is. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. That's what I need to get. Oh, I sent you a snap. No, it's not popping. We're going to go to a different one, like, tomorrow. Intimate party cake. It's probably good. You know, they're the ones who make low bites. They have iced pumpkin, too. Yeah, I mean those uh I mean, chocolate crumb. I used to eat these until one of my friends in elementary school told me that you'd have to run a whole football field to work it off. And that made me realize they're probably not healthy. Oh I ate them since. Well it's 480 calories. These are too light skinned for me. What are they? Crunch donuts. No, it says, oh, yeah, oh, crunch donuts. Oh, yeah, these are definitely not hostess. They have bagged garlic shrimp and grits, shrimp alfredo, shrimp creole, shrimp mac and cheese. Okay, Publix. How many of you like candy corns? I feel like these are the only acceptable candy corns you can eat. I love the pumpkins. This, though, nah. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. It is 6.07 and I'm about to drop her off for surgery. Hi. My bun burned. That's in the car. <laughs> Took me 25 minutes to get my piercings out. Sweating. <laughs> she had to wake up, take a shower, sanitize herself one last time. And she's in her uh, nightgown. <laughs> My team, Timu grandma robe. Yeah, her Timu grandma robe. Anyway, we're on our way. I'll come on one more time, right? Like when we're dropping her off. All right, we arrived. It looks sketchy, but it's very nice upstairs. <laughs> Bye. See you guys in a few hours. See y'all when she comes out. Hey y'all. So she is done. I'm just waiting for them to bring her down. Um, it didn't take very long. I dropped her off at. 6.30 and they called me at 8.53 on the dot because the way I've been praying and good vibing and, and talking to God and every person in heaven that I know to keep my sister safe, that's what I did the whole time. Um, I dropped AJ off at 8.30 so she should, pre if it's going by how it says, she should be done probably about 11, 11.30 so before I even got back to the hotel, she had texted me that they had wheeled her back. So I might be dropping Taylor off, turning around, and coming back to get AJ. But Taylor is good. Like I said, I'm just here waiting. So I probably won't get any footage when they bring her out because it's going to take in a lot of information. Because last time when she was here, they gave me a shit ton of information. So I want to pay attention to that. But I will show you when we get back to the room how she's doing. Um, just now we're hoping for a an easy, quick, not too painful uh, recovery. So yeah, but I'll get you updated as soon as I get her. But if you were praying or you had good vibes for us, I appreciate you and thank y'all for all the support with me, my family, and my channel. So thank y'all, I'm feeling very blessed right now that everything went good and everything is gonna go good for AJ and I will let you know when I uh, hear about her and get her back also. So I'll see you in a little bit. Look who I have. 
she has on her leg compressors. She has to wear those for two weeks. The only time she can not wear them is when she's taking a shower. Keeps them from blood clots. She also has to wear her binder uh, sock or compression socks for a week. Yeah. But she's doing good. She coughed and almost passed out. <laughs> but she's putting her jewelry back in. But she's hunched over and moving very slowly. She says it's more of a discomfort than pain right now. But she has to walk for 10 minutes every hour. So she's up doing her 10 minutes. And then we're going to get her in the bed. Do you have anything else you want to tell them? I also can't like lean over here and pick that up. Okay. Can't lean over the counter to look and see where the hole is. Hi guys. So it is one day post-op from surgery. Surgery is yesterday at 6.30 a.m. And it's 4.12 p.m. on Thursday. Um, I've felt pretty good since coming out of surgery. I've had minimal pain. Um, I am sore. I am extremely tired today. Drained. Um, my back hurts. My shoulders hurt from being hunched over. Um, I get like twinges and muscle spasms in my stomach and those are pretty painful but like as far as like pain wise it's very minimal. Um, we, I'm here with my best friend. She had surgery too. Same thing. Um, we had our first post-op appointment today and we got massages and she did well I did well for the most part but I did almost pass out during my massage which was surprising because the pain was probably four or five out of ten so maybe it was just too much for my body but um, yeah so we have to get lymphatic massages we have them scheduled for every day that we're here so we did that we got to see our bodies for the first time today and uh, you know trying not to be too judgmental off your you know one day post op body but uh, it's looking good and I opted to not get a whole recut for a belly button so mine's just flat nothing um, I know some people think that's weird but I do not like belly buttons they freak me out I'd just rather not have one so he gave me my wish AJ does have a belly button so she has like gauze over hers um, yeah so we just uh, took off our binders and my sister went and washed them for us on the washer and we bought extra ones that we brought with us to wear while those are washing and air drying. Um, so we're just going to chill, we eat lunch, you know, rest because we have to get up every hour and walk for 10 minutes so we don't have a lot of time to rest in between. Um, so yeah, that's all we're doing for today. Just chill, rest, eat dinner later, and then tomorrow we have uh, another massage appointment at 10.30. So yeah, we're not doing a whole lot, just hanging out. Um, I'm very slow and hunched. AJ is a speed walker. She's hunched, but she definitely walked faster than me. But uh, yeah, we're both doing good. Uh, no complaints, so it's been a breeze. Happy Saturday. Um, hopefully you can hear me. I don't want to talk too loud because I think AJ might be sleeping. Um, but it's Saturday. I did not vlog yesterday. If you can't tell by like the bags under my eyes, I'm exhausted. <laughs> I did get a full six hours of uninterrupted sleep last night, so yay for that. Um, but yeah, getting up with Taylor and making sure that she's good and emptying her drains and Helping her in and out of the bed. I'm tired. So yesterday we really didn't do anything. I took them to get their lymphatic massages. Um, took Taylor to get her Starbucks. Came home and we chilled for the rest of the day. And then we had McDonald's for dinner because McDonald's is literally like a minute walk. It's like in the same parking lot as the hotel. So I walked and we got, um, picked, or me and AJ's sister picked everyone up McDonald's for dinner. And then that was it. I laid in bed and went to sleep when it was time. And so I've been taking cat naps here and there, but I mean, they're never long because during the day she has to get up every hour and walk. So, but uh, 
Today I'm going to try and see if I can get some footage of their massage since it's a Saturday. The lady who does their massages is coming to the room. I probably won't get them getting massaged because I mean they're undressed and I don't want to be all up in that lady's space but I'll kind of show her setting up and stuff. Um, and I can show like what our night routine looks like, like what I do at nighttime for Taylor. I'm not going to show me literally emptying her drains because I don't want to trigger anybody because it's not cute. I mean it's not bad. It's literally not bad, but you know, some people have weak stomachs, so I don't want to put y'all through that. But um, because me, I have a weak stomach, and that's basically all I can do. I, if she wanted me to do anything else, like when she comes home, if she comes home with a drain, and it has to be taken, I can't do it. She has a, a friend who's willing to take her drain out if she has to come home with a drain because I can't do it. Like, me emptying the drains, that's it, girl. That's all I can do for you. <laughs> Literally, but 9.37, um, I just ate breakfast, I went down and put their binders and Tegan, or Taylor's blanket in the washer because her drain opened on one of her blank, on her blanket last night, it's a waterproof blanket that she put on the bed of the hotel just in case something like that happened, so it did open last night, so I had to wash that. So I'm just waiting for those to dry and then I'm going to go to Starbucks and get her coffee and then oh later I'm going to go to Publix and Taylor wants to go so we can walk around Publix with y'all hopefully a better Publix because the last time when we went to did not have good um, desserts and every Saturday is our sweet treat Saturday so we want to find something good to eat for tonight from Publix so we're going to do that but yeah how to go Give it some more time. Yeah. How's your pain today? She still has no pain, just sore, and her back hurts from sleeping, sitting up, and bending over. But no pain. Yeah, she has a spot above her vagina that's hurting, burning a little bit, but. No, that's healing on. She has the itches, the the lipo itch, which means she's healing where they lipoed. So, but yeah, that's it. We've basically just been in this room, <laughs> chilling. I mean, what can you do? People are. We came here for surgery, not the vacation. We got a couple days of fun, and now we're just ready to go home. We go home on Tuesday, so we only have three more sleeps. Thank God, because I am ready to go blessed and thankful that everything has been good and there's been no complications thank god for that because y'all the way i've been praying <laughs> me and god like this even more tight so i appreciate everything it's good with her and aj but yeah so i guess i'll see y'all later bye This is a disposable bar and the underwear that I have. Oh. oh no, it's up to you. I don't, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I've been doing it naked this whole time. Okay, no worries. <laughs> I know some people like them and there's some people like them. Okay. <laughs> yeah. y'all we'd have made it to Publix she out here she hid her drains under her dress AJ and her sister didn't want to come so it's just us this is a better looking bakery oh they're playing music so enjoy this without talking
I'll just get these, and if I need to fill up my one that I have that's flat, I'm going to just put those in my suitcase. I got me some XL wipes to breathe. Oh, for your body? Measuring tape. Measuring tape so she can measure herself for her faha. I take that back. It's her phone board. Oh, look, here's travel. So maybe they have some right here. Makeup wipes, makeup remover. Oh, look. That's what we were looking for. Oh. Look at the tiny Dr. Bronner's. Well, I think I'm going to get a pack of Quartz wipes since we use mine. Just in case you never know. You need to wipe some stuff up. Not brute. I didn't even know they still made brute. Huh. These ones. <laughs> yeah, 40 nitro gloves. Yeah, None. I don't have to worry about stopping at a store to get more. Home. One get one free. Yeah. Oh wait. Oh yeah. Yeah, buy one get one free. Get me some ones. Mm. Only thing that's not this little bag. Can you get grab the sour cream? I wonder if you can mix and match. Well, because it says sweet honey. Oh. I'll just get these. That's she my weed ginger. Ew, they have candy corn in them. See, I can't do that. I, like I only mess with corn, the pumpkin candy corn. And even then, it's only in small doses. Community coffee. I've only ever seen that on YouTube. Never in real life. <laughs> I have I seen it in real life, but you have Because you travel more than I do. Utah does not have no community coffee. Oh look, they have the skinnies at the ones Dollar Tree sells. Two for four. My girls get these two. I love the expiration. November 6th. Yeah, we're about to check out and go get our dinner, but when we get back to the room, I'll show you what we got to eat since they're blasting the music again. All right, we're back. So I got a salad. It has like grilled chicken, corn, um, olives, cucumbers, feta, mozzarella cheese. I also got this thing. It's like a little half thing. Oh, it was much more appetizing on the app, but it's chicken bacon ranch. I and had a Caesar and I had a chicken. A Caesar with chicken. Oh, yeah, that's what we're about to eat for dinner. All right, so I was going to show you our nighttime routine. So at 6 o'clock, she took her meds, and we took these before we left. So this is a tramadol, and then this one right here, this one right here, is a uh, antibiotic. Siri. Set a timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, counting down. Hey y'all, it's Megan. So I kind of just wanted to pop on here and let you know kind of what is happening. I know I said I'd show her evening routine, so this is at six o'clock. Um, I gave her her meds. Actually, I think I gave her her meds before we left and then we came home and it was time for her to do her 10 minute walk. So she just walks around the room her and AJ, um, they're on a different schedule, I think. So she's walking different from AJ, but AJ definitely takes laps throughout the night and in the room. And so that's why it's kind of hard to sleep because there, someone is always up moving around. I wanted to get a video of her compression boots. She had a time with this one boot. You'll see her bend over and fix it. It was just this one boot that kept falling the whole time. Um, yep, there it is. <laughs> So she was annoyed with that boot. We kept having to readjust it and tighten it and 
try and fix it. But yeah, she's just walking around. She still has her drain. She put them in the pockets of her nightgown for the safe or for the sake of the video because you know not everybody wants to see her little pendulums that we've been calling them <laughs> but yeah her back was itching so she was just rubbing her back and doing her walks this right here is a lung apparatus I'm not exactly sure what the specifications for it is but after she walks she has to do that 10 times and suck and bring up all the balls Right here is the midnight shift, so I'm gonna go and just let y'all listen. Taylor, it's time for meds. Siri, hmm? set a timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, counting down.
Hey y'all, happy Sunday. So, I was scrolling on Facebook memories this morning and something popped up I want to show y'all. Can you see? Anyways, it's technically my 11 year vlog anniversary. Um, I know most of y'all don't know that I have been, huh? Oh, he says something. I know most of y'all don't know I've been vlogging for 11 years. But I was, I was very consistent. What was that, 11 years ago? That was before any of the kids were born. I think, uh, yeah. And I started vlogging. I did take a lot of breaks, hiatuses, quit life, you know, moving, things like that. So I feel like I should just say something because I feel like it's a milestone even though it wasn't consistent 11 years because if it was consistent 11 years, imagine where I would be now. Right? But I decided I'm going to rededicate my life to vlogging. So I think I'm almost on my 100th vlog since I started vlogging again. And I started vlogging again when we were in Miami last or two years ago for uh, my sister's other surgery. So technically it's like two anniversaries in one because I did a Miami vlog because back then I was just doing what's for dinners and grocery hauls and then when we went to Miami I decided to vlog and ever since then I've been vlogging ever since. Not, I haven't missed one week, I don't think. So I just want to say thank you guys for sticking around. Those who have stuck around from the beginning when I thought I was going to be a beauty guru. <laughs> because I technically started out doing a Actually, I might have been on YouTube longer, but I think it's just the 11 year of my vlogging. But yeah, I really thought I was going to be a beauty guru. Um, I think my very first video was What's in My Bag. Child, if I can go scroll back enough, I'll put it in the in the description box so you can see it because it's it's funny. Um, yeah, well, I just want to say thank y'all. Thank you for supporting me and my family if you have been from the beginning or if you're new and you're just now supporting me and my family. I appreciate y'all. I'm blessed to have every single one of y'all in our lives. I appreciate all the comments, all the friendships I've made, all the family I've made in other states. I love all of y'all, and I wouldn't be here without you guys supporting me. Um, because I almost quit again. Remember when I had my uh, laptop and camera debacle? Yeah, so. But my family pushed through and got me a camera and a laptop, and so I thank them also, all of them. So that's it. I just want to say thank you and I love y'all and I appreciate y'all being here for 11 years and we're going to keep this thing rolling for as long as y'all continue to watch my videos and support me and my family. All right. Okay, bye. Hey y'all. Happy Monday. We leave tomorrow. <laughs> I'm so excited to go home. You have no idea. So today, um, AJ and Taylor had their final appointment. They're both going home with drains, both of their drains. I just got back from taking AJ and her sister to the airport. They have the airport in Fort Lauderdale. So it's like an hour and a half both ways. If you don't want to pay toll costs. Yeah, if you don't want to pay tolls, you have to. So we avoided tolls, which means you avoid the highway. Chow. It was the longest drive of my life. And so then on the way home, we stopped and got Panera. But yeah, this is our final night here. After I'm done eating, I'm going to pack up all my stuff. And uh, yeah, I can't believe they were out of baguettes. Yeah, that's disrespectful. So I just got some chips to try. Oh, they're kettle cooked. So Panera was out of ba baguettes. Baguettes? <laughs> you normally get like a free piece of bread, but they were out. So I look, I got some chips. I'm going to show you what I got. And then I got the pick two. So I got a, um, soup. You all see that? Broccoli cheddar soup. Ooh, Lord, almost spilled it. And then I got a turkey sandwich. But yeah, that's all we're doing. I'm glad I made it safe because these drivers in Florida are ridiculous. They don't use blinkers. They pull up real fast to think they're gonna go somewhere, but there's so much fuck or there's so much <laughs> traffic that they have to slam on their freaking brakes. And so there's like, you didn't go anywhere. What are you doing? It's horrible out here. And it's like I forgot. It's like you get surgery and you forget how much pain you're in. Yeah, that's how I forgot. Because, I mean, I guess I didn't drive last time, but... <sighs> yeah, I'm ready to go home. 
The Walmart's crazy. I if I lived here, I would never shop at Walmart. I, you would only see me at Publix because the. Look at my freaking sandwich. They just balled into a ball. Yeah, that's how they do all of them. Or at least mine. Anyway, that. Look at that. Yeah. Child, look at this. Pull mine out the wrapper. Do you see my sandwiches like they just went and squeezed it after they put it together? You know that video where they're making them? That's exactly what they did. Anyways, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh yeah, Florida. I don't know about other cities in Florida, but I know Miami. Couldn't live here. Couldn't do it. It's bad. But yeah, we we're just gonna chill. I guess I'm gonna eat and pack up stuff. And we're gonna chill for the rest of the night. It's like eight o'clock. I'm usually asleep by like eleven. This time change going back is gonna mess me up. Anyway, that's it. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Or maybe later. Maybe I'll show y'all packing my stuff. I don't know. It depends. But either way, you'll see me either tonight or tomorrow. Okay, love y'all. Bye. Hi. So we just got through security. She had wheelchair assist. And now we're waiting on our gate and we board in what? You said an hour? Yeah, about an hour. So we're here. Five hour flight. Uh, non-stop but we also got the seats that are in between main and well, the first class so there should be a wall between us so we should have ample room right there yeah. I, I keep feeling like I have blood clots because my head hurts and then like I'll get pains in my legs but I'm <laughs> like hey you're sitting and also just had surgery so but I mean I've been doing everything as the doctor said so and plus, I'm almost a week past surgery, which, I mean, the risk goes down significantly the further you get out. But, you know, anxiety. So, <laughs> so yeah. We just wanted to say hi and check in and let you know that we're here. We made it. We got all our snacks through TSA, so that's the real win here in this situation. Yeah, they didn't stop us and make us pull everything out. Thank God. How embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, because, child, when I tell you that duffel is full of snacks, child, I... I we gonna have to record it when we open it. Literally. Literally. And the thing in there that you think don't have snacks in it, it do. The <laughs> only really thing that do. isn't a snack is my little cup that I carry around. Yeah. That's it. It's all Yeah, because we really did get the CBTS from Publix and brought it in our Tupperware. So y'all just wait and see when we get to the house. Oh my gosh. All right. I'm gonna go get us some water. <laughs> We're home. Yay. We made it home safely. Thank God. Um... I'm so tired. All I remember from last night is getting here around 11, 11.30, getting Taylor situated. I know at about midnight I was making peanut butter and jellies. I went down, got my bed around 1, laid there for like an hour with anxiety. I guess I fell asleep probably around 2-ish and woke up at 6 a.m. So I'm running on literally like four hours of sleep. So after I do the haul that I promised y'all, eat breakfast, I'm probably going to take a nap until I have to take Taylor to her massage appointment. She has to get massaged at, I think it's 1.30. I'm tired. I'm so happy to be home. I'm so happy to be able to cook again and eat non out fast food, my not cooking food. So I'm so excited about that. I'm excited too. Yeah. <laughs> My mom says she's excited. Her and Elijah have been holding down the food fork. But yeah, I'm tired. So. So this is the duffel bag we showed. I don't know if we showed y'all, but this is our duffel bag of snacks. I haven't opened it since we put it on the plane. This was Taylor's carry-on, actually. So I'm going to show you everything we got. I know some of the stuff you saw when we went to Walmart, but I'm going to show you everything up close. Also, I know we went to Burlington and Ross. I don't remember if I said we were going to do a haul. We're not. Probably shouldn't say that. i got to cut that out because he's going to know what I got on for Christmas. Okay, remember how I was going to tell you I was going to do a haul from Burlington and Ross? Well, I don't know if I told you that. It was a long time ago. Anyway, if I said I was going to do it, I'm not. We got a lot of Christmas presents, and so it's basically, I think I got like three things for myself. The rest is Christmas presents, so I can't really show you. Um, but yeah, so minus that, I'm going to show you everything we got. So I found this Peach Crush. I've never had Peach Crush before. Taylor said it's really good. Only crush I've had are like strawberry, um, grape pineapple 
orange. Never had peach. Taylor has gone to Whataburger a few times and she wanted to try some or get some of the sauces for us to try because I've never tried Whataburger. So we got, and they sold this at Walmart, so we got the spicy ketchup. We feel like that'll be good when we make our fry sauce, which is a Utah thing. I know some people make it, but they like do it for different things, but it's basically 40% mayo and 60% ketchup. So fry sauce. And then we got two of these spicy jalapeno ranches to try for like dipping. I don't think we'll use it like for a salad, but maybe if we have some nuggets or something, the kids can try it. So we got that. Now I'm nervous because we have a lot of soft snacks in here. So I'm about to open this. All I did last night was bring it in the house and sit it down. So we about to find out together if all of our snacks survived. Okay, for the most part, this is a little smashed. So at Wawa, pretty good. Oh, we have a couple casualties. Anyways, oh, these are kind of broke. Not too bad though. Um, so last year when we went to Miami, we discovered Wawa. It's the best grocery or gas station I've ever been to in my entire life. Now Utah has a gas station called Holiday, which I feel is kind of comparable to Wawa, except they don't have this like, like a, like Wawa is like a restaurant on the inside. You can get like a chicken quesadilla made to order pizza and stuff. So minus that part, but like the gas station part of the snacks and stuff, I feel like Holiday is kind of close to Wawa for Utah. Anyway, last time, last year I went, I found out they had these old fashioned sour cream cake donuts. I tried it so good so when we came home last or the last time we were in Miami I think I brought home four of them <laughs> and it gave one to Tegan so Tegan was that's the whole thing she kept calling it the donut shop she didn't know it was a gas station make sure you bring up donuts from them so anyway we went yesterday to the first one they only had one so we put in the GPS another one which was 18 miles away we went to another one they only had one mind you they had all the other donuts but they only had one of the old fashioned because these are the best old fashioned donuts you've ever eaten in your entire life. I'm telling you right now, if you have a Wawa or you're near one and you've never tried the old fashioned donuts, do it. They're freaking good. So we only ended up getting two. I got one and then Taylor got one that her and Tegan are gonna share. But, uh-uh. <laughs> Not even a crumb. <laughs> They're so good. I'm so upset. So when we go back, because we're definitely going back to Miami, unfortunately, I do not like Miami. I am a Miami hater. But we're going to do better planning with the Wawa Donuts. Maybe go in the morning the day before we leave so we can stock up. But yeah. I ended up getting two chocolate chip cookies. One for me and one for Elijah. These are a little broken. But it's fine. I mean, broke cookies still get eaten. And then I also got one of their brownies to try. Now, you can judge us if you want to, but we told y'all from Jump that this is definitely a snack haul. Okay, so then Taylor got cookies for um, herself and the kids. This donut got smashed. So here's her donut for her and Tegan. And then she got herself a. Where did she get one? I don't know. I know she got one of these for tea money. But she got two peanut butter cookies. I'm assuming one of these are for tea, uh, tea money. And then she also got this one for Amaya. It's just an Eminem cookie. That's everything that we got from Wawa. Now let's talk Publix. So last time we went to Publix, we went the night that we got there. And by that time, my feet were hurting and I was done. So I did not go in Publix the first time we went to Miami. Taylor went, got a, a little cake slice and has been talking about this Publix cake for two years. The, how good it was. So when we were there, we went to Publix and we went uh a couple nights ago and i did get the cake and it is freaking delicious it's like the best white cake slice i've ever had and that says a lot because our local grocery store weiniger's has really good cake slices but Publix, good so let me pull out our tupperware i love how i have disclaimers for all these snacks and why we why we got them 
So we had already planned to bring home cake from Publix. So this is mine. It's just a Funfetti cake. Looks like that. And it survived. Not even smashed. This is so good. So if you've ever had Publix cake or you know about Publix cake, you know what we're talking about. And then she wanted to bring home the Funfetti cake. At the first Publix we went to, they had like a little like bar of cake she was going to bring home for the kids to try. But when we went to the other Publix, they didn't have it. So she got this black and white one for her. And then she's just going to let the kids just eat off of this one so they can all try at least the Publix cake. Because like I said, it's very, very tasty. All right, we saw these in Walmart. I don't know if I showed y'all on the vlog or not because I haven't edited anything. I took my laptop and all the stuff I needed to edit and didn't edit one thing. So we have never seen these Little little Bites crumb cakes before. So we each got two boxes. They're really good. I had one for breakfast yesterday. They have a lot of crumb. I wish they didn't have so much of that crumb on it, but they're good. So this is my box. And then I had to take one of them out of a box because we ran out of space and put it in a container. So I also have some in a container right here. You want one of these? Yeah, you can have one of these. You can have a couple actually. Yeah, I had to open this one to let the air out, but it's fresh. Anyways, so if you haven't seen these or you want to try them, they're really good. I mean, everything from Little Bites is good. Intamins, it's all good. Taylor brought back so many spoons from Panera. We also ate at Panera maybe three times, I think, because Utah doesn't have a Panera. The only Panera we have is the one that's in the airport. Why they won't bring us a Panera, I have no idea. So anytime we're in Vegas or anywhere they have a Panera, we always go. She also found these at Walmart, though they're brown sugar cinnamon pre-sliced mini bagels. I guess we don't have these at our store, so she wanted to get these. Here is, oh, from Panera. What was, oh, what is this? Oh, okay, since we're talking about Panera, she brought home their little butters. We have a whole bag of these little Panera butters. And one thing about Taylor, she loves her some good butter. That's what she calls it. And so, ooh, they're like leaking. She, every time she goes on a fire, I feel like she comes home with some butter from somewhere. She likes the butter. She also got two of these pumpkin muffins from Panera she brought home. Um, she got one when we were there and fell in love with it. It was so good. And then we kept, when we kept going back to Panera, they were out of stock. And so she was finally able to get some when they were in stock and she got two. She also got taken a, uh, a lemon cookie from Panera, but I'm not sure where it is. Maybe it's in this box. Okay. So last thing, this is the box, her, um, things she's wearing around her calves, her compression things are, she put snacks in here to protect them. And this just has, oh, here we go. So this has her little bites that she got in here. And then Tegan's lemon drop cookie. I also have one of these too, but it's downstairs. But these cookies are really good. It's like a lemon cookie with white chocolate chips. Tegan requested this from Panera. So Taylor got her that. That's it. Those are all the snacks that we got. I'm pretty sure that's everything. Um, yeah. So, I don't think it's too bad. I mean, it could have been worse. It could have, I mean, it could have been worse. We had some self-control. We basically got stuff that we can't get in Utah. We didn't get anything that we could get here. So, but yeah, we're home. We're happy to be home. I'm going to end this vlog and start another vlog today because it's Wednesday and I normally end my vlogs on Sunday but I wanted to do the Miami and all in one vlog so this next vlog that you see next week may be shorter in like time because it's only going like five days and that's if I vlog every single day y'all know who I am so that's it thank y'all for watching thank you for coming to Miami for those of you who knew about the surgery prior to seeing these vlogs and 
prayed for us and wished us safe travels and good vibes and everything like that. We appreciate it so much. Um, thank you, because I was a nervous wreck. I think I told y'all when she, anytime, I already have bad intrusive thoughts, anxiety. I always think something bad is going to happen to someone in my family. And so my brain is constantly rolling. And so when things like surgery happens, my thoughts are much, much worse. I have really bad anxiety, if you didn't know. Panic attacks, anxiety, all of that. So I appreciate anyone who prayed or had good thoughts for us during this time. She made it. She's doing good. Her recovery has actually been like a walk in the park. Her and AJ are pretty good. AJ is more bent over than Tegan or Taylor, but she be moving. She looks like a little old lady just moving hella fast. <laughs> she AJ got a belly button. Taylor didn't, but AJ's struggling with her belly button. I think she might have a little bit of regret about the belly button because she says it's like she can feel it pulling as she's healing and it's just a lot. So keep AJ in your prayers also for a speedy recovery. She's her sister flew home with her. So AJ and her sister are back in Vegas. But yeah. As things progress, subscribes, you can see Taylor's progress as, you know, she unswells and heals and stuff. And we will be going back to Miami, I think next year, for one last surgery that she wants to get done. And then I think we're done with Miami trips, hopefully, because, chow. How is no one not nice? I hope we don't have any <laughs> subscribers from Miami. Listen, y'all can listen, y'all can unsubscribe if you want to, but I stand on what I said. And maybe in other parts of Florida people are nicer, it's not as congested and stuff. And good for y'all, but Miami is not a place that I would like to visit multiple times. But I mean there are some nice people we did meet. But for the most part, yeah, I'm not a fan, but I'm not speaking ill on Florida, just that one city. That's it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share the video. We love you guys, and I will see y'all next week. Bye.